What's up guys, welcome back to Unboxed Junkie. My name is Matt and today we're gonna drink some tea. Recently, I've been drinking quite a bit of tea. I love tea, it's really good. I usually get the bottled tea. That gets pretty expensive. So a friend of mine, Josh, he actually was like, you know what, as much tea as you're drinking, why don't you just make your own tea? Because it's gonna save a whole lot of money. So I went on Amazon and I went looking for a big glass container to make sun tea. Now for those who don't know what sun tea is, it's tea, except you let it sit and basically brew in the sun for like three to five hours. And I think it's more of an American thing I think it's like dates back to like the old countries or something like that anyway it's really good so if you enjoy tea this could really be for you so I found this this is the mason jar drink dispenser not only is it a one gallon big glass jar for making this tea but it also has a spout on it so you could just take it straight from brewing stick it in your fridge and then just fill your cup up when you want some which is great that suits me perfectly it's only 27 bucks it has good ratings. I mean, you can't really go wrong. It's a glass jar. All right, let's bust this open. Try not to break it. Oh yeah. Oh, that is a hefty mason jar. The spout, I believe it's metal. Is this handle plastic? No, I think it's all metal, but there you go. When you want some, just turn it, fill your cup, and that's it. Yorkshire glassware established in 1898. Now I also purchased some Lipton iced tea. This is the basic bare Lipton iced tea, no flavor, nothing special, just tea bags. We're gonna go set this up outside and uh, I'm gonna leave it in the sun for maybe three to five hours-ish. All right, let's go do that. Let's go outside. It's a nice day too. Let's go. All right, so I've got my, my ugly chair. Let's just fill it up. All right, now with a gallon, you're gonna do like eight bags. All right, so we're all set. I'll uh, come back and check on it in about three hours. All right, so it's been almost three hours and the sun has gone down, so it's not really doing any good sitting out here, but it looks pretty good. It's nice and it's actually warm. Let's go put this stuff on ice and uh, give it a shot. All right. There we go. We got a thing of tea. I went ahead and also brewed some tea on the stove in the old fashioned normal way, just so I can test out the difference between sun brewed and like stove top brewed or hot water brewed. And then of course I got my favorite ice balls. All right. Also, if you're interested in these, I'll, uh, if I can find it, I'll leave a link down below. These things are awesome. I've had them for a long time. Okay, so for presentation purposes, I'm putting it on this box and that way I can actually get the glass under, but uh, here we go. Oh no, what's stopping it? You know what? I bet you it needs a hole. Hold on. I bet that's what it is. There we go. Okay, so visually you can see that the sun brewed tea is a lighter color than the hot water boiled brewed tea. So I'm guessing this is gonna be a lighter flavor. Let's just give it a shot. I'm gonna go with the sun brewed first. Ooh, that's nice and smooth. Delicious. Now I did put about two cups of sugar in here and then the same with this one made a gallon of this Yeah, this one packs more of a punch Wow, okay, so the aftertaste is more watery. This is not the aftertaste is kind of like a creamy It's almost soft. It's not it doesn't it doesn't have like a water aftertaste. I'm gonna have to go with the sun tea. Yeah It's really good. Hey, babe here try this one It's good it's good tea? Uh -huh. Pretty basic. Uh -huh. That's the boiled one. And then this is the sun tea. Wow, well, that's a good one. You like that one? Mm -hmm. Is that you like that one better? Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Okay, cool. Well, there you go. It's good stuff. Uh, you know, it works well. Just remember when you're ready to actually use it, loosen the lid because it's causing suction. It didn't allow it to come out. Bloopers at the end. So yeah, 28 bucks. Nice heavy duty. One gallon glass mason jar. I know you can get them in bigger. I've seen them in like two, three gallons, but uh, one gallon is like perfect size to stick in the refrigerator and that's what I'm gonna do. Now, one thing to keep in mind, I was looking this up and I found out that actually sunbrewed tea has a, has a shorter shelf life. So from what I'm reading that the sunbrewed tea, it's uh, it's typically only good for one or two days, which is fine because I, I love tea. So this is more of an incentive to drink even more tea. Anyway, guys, that is it. I'm gonna leave links down in the description below as usual. I leave it in your hands, but as for now, now, get out of here. 
bust this thing open. Oh, also, uh, also, um, I'm not, I'm not sure how to pronounce this name, and I'm not going to attempt it because I'm sure I will offend somebody somehow, somewhere. Uh, so I'm just not going to. But this is the name of the company. If you know the proper pronunciation of this, please leave it down below. Let me know. Why is the styrofoam hairy? Are you seeing that? Look at all that hair. What is up with that styrofoam? Also, for those who stick around, you guys uh, have been around for a while, you notice a odd light behind me? I changed it to yellow because it's, you know, in, in the theme of sunbird tea. I've got the sun behind me. Anyway, so you know this is going to be good old country tea. Good old country tea. Yeah. Whoop. Get in there. Get in there. Don't argue with me. Come out. Come on. Come on. <sighs> Hello? Oh, come on. Alright, you know what? <laughs> hey, babe! <laughs> you know what? What do they say? Uh, you can give a man a fish and feed him for a, for a day. Teach a man to fish and he'll feed himself for a lifetime. Bam. Something like that. Drink the rest of this tea. She's not getting it. Baby, did you still want this tea?